Guys, come quick! There's a fight going on! The pink haired devil's at it again! Pink haired devil? Wait, don't tell me. Girls! Stop fighting this instance! Get the hell off her! Get off me, you psycho! Not so big and mighty now, are ya? Now give back what's mine! Hey! Get off of her! Uh, uh, come on, Millie! Uh, get off me! Oh, oh. Let uh, go of me! Just, uh, calm down! Oh, thank you, Luke. Okay, everyone. It's almost first period. Be on your way now. What's going on? Babe, are you okay? No! That wild animal just attacked me! Jake! What happened to your eye? Wow! She did that to you? That's one hell of a feisty woman! Yeah! I'm okay, guys! Thanks for asking! <laughs> Are you hurt anywhere, babe? <laughs> my whole body hurts! She threw me to the floor and pulled my hair really hard! <laughs> ah, please! Stop with the crocodile tears, you fake tart! It's embarrassing! Miss! She needs to be locked up in a zoo! She's a danger to the school! You don't want to talk, you snake! Girls, please! Enough of this! Millicent, violence will not be tolerated in this school. I don't think you realize how close you are to expulsion! If I find you in any more trouble, you won't be allowed to compete in the band competition. What? what? I will be having a serious conversation with your parents about this. I expect to see you after school in my classroom for detention. But she... Ugh, whatever! Millie, come back! <laughs> <laughs> Miss, please don't do that. This competition means the world to us. Millie is an important member of our group. We can't perform in the competition without her. I understand, Haley, but Millie needs to stop attacking people. If she can't stop being violent, then I'll have no choice. Serves her right, the savage. <laughs> Remind me to never get on her bad side. I guess she's the type that can't be tamed, huh? Ugh, here we go again. Oh my god, Jake, are you okay? That savage punched you right in the face! Should I take you to the school nurse? Oh, thanks, Leah, but I'll be alright. It's just a bit of swelling. Well, that was an unexpected and painful start to the morning. What the heck was that all about? I told you I'm fine. You can talk to us about anything, Millie. What did she do? It's nothing! I'm dealing with it! But we can deal with it together. We're worried about you. Whoa! Are you okay, Jake? You're right. I I'm fine. A certain... someone punched me in the face just now. Lily! Sorry, okay? It was a reflex. I don't like being manhandled. Yeah, well, I realize that now. So, what exactly was all that about? That's what we're trying to figure out. And I told you it's none of your business! Look, Millie, I know what those girls are like. They harass me as well. But if you keep getting into trouble like this, the school won't let you compete in the band competition. You could get expelled. We don't want to lose you, so please stop fighting. It's not as simple as that! That's a little selfish, don't you think? Because you can't control your anger we all have to pay the price. Does the ban mean nothing to you? You don't understand how I feel, Xander. Those girls have picked on me ever since I entered this hellhole of a school. You can't stop me from fighting. Those girls are asking for it. Guys, why don't we just calm down? You're not doing yourself any favors. All you're doing is giving yourself an even worse reputation in school. That's it! I've had enough of all of you! 
stop trying to control me! Just leave me the hell alone! Millie, let's talk about this. Great. She's on the rampage again. What are we gonna do? We can't lose our main guitarist. <sighs> what can we do? She basically just told us that she'll do whatever the hell she wants. We have no control over her. You don't need to fight. We can deal with whoever's bothering you, together. I said I'm dealing with it by myself! Millie, I'm worried about you. I don't want you getting into more trouble. You say I make you nervous, a tragedy, I'm a beautiful disaster, a reckoning, you wonder how I got this way. You think I'm someone to be saved, someone to clean up and tame, oh, some things never change, never change, oh. You think I would look pretty on your arm once you cover up my bruises and battle scars, but it always ends the same. Can't bear the things I've had to face. Got you crying on your knees in pain. Oh, some things never change, never change. Oh, you break your back to make me feel it. Stopped asking for forgiveness Cause you should know Only fools dread with the angels Fear to go But you keep trying to get too close Save myself by turning into stone So save your judgment Cause you just don't know But some things never change Never change Oh They say I should feel guilty And change my ways Leaving crumpled bodies in my wakes where I didn't mean to make them pray Where I didn't mean to make them pray But they're so delicate and so mundane And they keep coming like a moth to flame Oh, some things never change, never change What am I going to do? Millie seems really important to these guys. Maybe I should investigate what her deal with Zoe is before she gets into more trouble. Okay class, I want you to find one novel of your choosing and fill out your worksheets. You have just under an hour and when you're finished, Please hand them to me. Have fun. I can't believe she said that. I know. And she had the audacity to call me a snake. I'm missing chunks of my hair because of her. Ugh, she shouldn't be allowed in this school. They must be talking about Millie. Anyways. I just can't believe that she had a crush on that nerd! <laughs> I know, right? She has such weird taste in boys. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Hey! What are you doing? What am I doing? What are you doing? I'm trying to find out what Zoe has on Millie. Well, that's what I'm trying to do. Um... <sighs> I need to get a book between you two. Could you move? Uh, uh sh sure. <laughs> Sorry, Sadie. <laughs> uh, 
I guess we had the same idea, huh? Seems like it. It sounds like they know something about a crush of hers. I'm going to confront them myself. Wait! I have a plan I think will work. Will you trust me? Uh, sh sure, but could you let go of my hand? Huh? Oh, um, uh, sorry. Uh, you stay here. I'll talk to the girls. Hey, girls. What you talking about? Oh, hi, Jake. Not much. None of your business. Why? Well, I just happened to overhear something about somebody's crush. Thought you might share the gossip. Well, if you're so interested... You know that little rat Millie from this morning? The one that yanked half of my hair out? Yes. I remember. I have a black eye from her, if you haven't noticed. Well, I may or may not have taken her diary and found some juicy information about her crush. I even have a page ripped out as proof. Oh, so that's why Millie's so angry at Zoe. This girl is really something else. But it's her fault for leaving it out on her desk. Someone else would have picked it up. Isn't that like breaking girl code or something? That's if you even consider her a girl. She's a tramp. Totally. Yeah, um, I think you should give that back to her. Excuse me? Are you seriously on her side after what she did to me this morning? I know you only joined their freak show to sing or whatever, but it's not like you need her. All right, fine, keep it. I'll just be on my way. You know what? I think I might go see what Drew's up to. I've yet to tell him about how I saw you with your sugar daddy last weekend. Wh what Wait, how do you know about that? Well, Zoe wasn't exactly low-key about it at the shopping mall last month ago when I happened to walk by. And if my memory serves me right, you had your arm clung tightly around his. Aw, you two looked very cozy together. You wouldn't dare. <laughs> Try me. Take it! You can give it back to that freak. And it's not like I was actually going to tell people anyway. It was just a joke. Just, please don't tell Drew about what you saw. Cross my heart. Well, I didn't know Jake had such a bad boy side to him. It's kind of hot. Leah! I just got blackmailed! Sorry, Zoe. Mission success. I can't believe those girls. Snooping into people's diaries like that? It wouldn't be the first time. Thank you, Jake. I really owe you. Uh, nah. I did it for my friend, Millie. So, uh, do you think this will be enough to stop her from all the fighting? I think so. I know how important the music club is to Millie, too. But I know why she has a lot of anger. She struggles to make friends in her class, especially with other girls. And girls in high school aren't always the nicest to each other. I'm glad that she has us. You can tell that she feels free to be herself in the club. I feel the same way. On second thought, I think I should take that from you. Wait, what? Why should you have it? I'm the one who got it back, after all. Oh, I get it. You just want to take all the credit. Don't be stupid. I just can't trust you not to read it. Hey, I would do no such thing. I'm a gentleman at heart, after all. Besides, haven't I already gained your trust? I suppose you're right. I trust you. Just give it to her as soon as you can, before she has another scrap in the hallway and she really does get kicked out of school. <sighs> um, hello? This is the music room, right? Whoa, she's really cute. Uh, yep, that would be this room. <laughs> oh, right. Silly me. I just thought rehearsals for the band competition would be going on right now. Oh, well, they would be, but we usually practice at lunch times now. You should come by tomorrow. Oh, I see. So, what do you play? Uh, you mean in the band? Yes! I'm very interested in your band and super excited for the competition! I bet it'll be amazing! 
Oh, sorry. I got a little too excited there. <laughs> That's okay. I'm glad to see other people excited for us. To be honest, I don't really play any particular instrument in the club. I usually produce the music, find beats, that sort of thing. Oh, that sounds fun. Yep, it's pretty fun. <laughs> Can I help you with anything else? Oh, no. Well, I was wondering why you're cleaning by yourself. I don't mean to sound rude, but isn't that the janitor's job? Um, I guess it is, but I like to do it myself. Cleaning is sort of a hobby of mine. I see. But isn't it lonely, staying behind after school to clean a classroom? You don't need to worry about me. I want to stay behind. And besides, Mr. Broom and I have plenty of great conversations together. He's great company. <laughs> hey! How about I keep you company? Oh, there's no need. That's okay! I love cleaning too! Plus, it's much more fun when you have company, right? Well, alright then. Thank you, uh... Sorry. What's your name? I'm Daisy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Oh, you too. I'm Sean. Oh, I see. So you're Sean. Jake has told me a bit about you. You're in the year above, right? Yeah, I'm sort of the big brother of the group. That's so sweet. I bet they really look up to you. Well, not to toot my own horn, but I guess they do. Hey, want to listen to a new track I've been working on while we clean? I would love to. Did they just avoid me? I guess yesterday did the trick. I am pretty terrifying. Hey, Millie! Oh, what's up? I have something to give you. You do? Where did you get that? Give it here! Hey, chill out! I was gonna give it to you anyways. Um... You okay, Millie? If you tell anyone about this... Oh, don't worry, I didn't read it. Well, I heard a bit from Zoe and Leah, but they didn't actually say who the mystery boy was. Those guys are bound to tell the whole school eventually. I wouldn't be so sure of that. I sort of have my own dirt on Zoe, so she promised to keep her mouth shut. They won't be telling anybody about this. You... blackmailed your friend for me? Um, well... when you put it like that... Uh, whoa, whoa there! Jake! I didn't know what to do! You really saved me! It was, uh, nothing. Anything for a friend. I'm sorry I didn't tell you guys. I was just... embarrassed. I thought I could deal with those girls by myself, but in the end, I just made it worse. Oh, and I'm really sorry for punching you. I really didn't mean to. I feel really bad about it. Oh, this? Ah, uh, don't worry. I know you didn't actually mean it. Besides, I think it kind of makes me look tough. <sighs> Whatever makes you feel better about it. So, you promise not to get any more scraps? <sighs> yeah, I promise. Man, I'm so glad you got this back for me. If the whole school found out who my crush was, I think I would have had to change school. Oh, hey, Millie. I just wanted to tell you that the orchids have started to bloom. You should come by the garden and see some time. Oh, uh, okay. Great! Uh, well, see ya. Wait, he's your crush? <laughs> Ow! Don't shout it out loud, you idiot! Sorry, sorry, it's just... Oh, he's not what I expected. Hmm. But I guess the opposites attract, huh? Oh, Jake! I'm glad I caught you. I meant to watch you at rehearsals yesterday, but I got the time wrong. Will you guys be practicing today? Um, uh, y yeah, we will. I'll, uh, uh, we'll be there at lunchtime. Wonderful. I'm looking forward to it. So, I guess I'm not the only one with a crush.
Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. Now before you click off, there are a couple of things I'd like to let you know about. Firstly, I want to say a huge thank you to Gachikura who animated the fight scene for me in the beginning of this episode. She is an extremely talented and underrated animator in the community, so I'd really appreciate it if you guys would go and check her out. Her links will be in the description. Secondly, I want to talk about a spin-off episode I'm planning for the Music Freaks. Now, you might be wondering who the pink-haired boy at the end of the episode was. Well, he's a new character called Elliot, and he is voiced by Garby. I'm planning on making a spin-off episode revolving him and Millie, basically, but I'm going to keep it vague as I don't want to spoil too much. However, you should definitely look out for that in the future. One last thing that I'd like to mention is that I now have a Discord server. Here you can talk to other fellow Music Freaks, participate in competitions, check out or post your own fan art, fanfics, edits and more. So please come join us. A link will be in the description. If you did enjoy the video and you'd like to support me to make more episodes of this series, then please give a like on the video for me and also hit that subscribe button. If you can't wait for the next episode, then make sure to follow me on Instagram for sneak peeks as well as my second account, Extra Rosie. This of course wouldn't have been possible without all of my amazingly talented voice actors, so please go and check them out in the description. Well, that's all from me. Stay tuned for the next episode. Bye guys!